Hi. I'm about to do some work on this painting, and this one is one that I started right at the beginning of the year, and it was part of a group of paintings that I was working on, and this one kind of lagged behind. I got really excited about the others. This one wasn't, um, there were some parts about it that I liked, but there are other bits that I didn't. Time sort of um, meant that I left this one behind, and I finished the others, and um, so now I'm coming back to this. And what I do, instead of coming back to it, you know, finishing the others and then coming back to it straight away, what I tend to do is I leave it until I start another series of paintings. Because um, at the time I've kind of over this one, you know, I didn't really want to work on it that much more. I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do on it. And I just wanted to forge ahead with the other ones. So I thought, okay, this will be my... Um, layover painting, which means that it stays behind and it waits for me to start a new series. And when I start the new series and get to round about the same stage in the other paintings, I'll bring this one into the group and I will start working on it. And that way, um, the sort of focus and what I'm uh, leaning into in the new series of paintings, I can bring into this one. And it sort of is a, is a bunch of sort of fresh ideas. Um, it makes me look at this one a little bit more differently. And it's just, um, it's just a, a better way, I find, of dealing with a painting that has got me a bit sort of, I'm a bit, I was a bit tired of it. So what was I tired of? Um, I didn't really like this color. I mean, I do like this color but I just thought it's a bit of an obvious colour match with the blue. Um, I quite like the blue, and I like this area up here. There's lots of different things going on there, and it's kind of interesting, and the layers are working nicely together. Um, I'm not so keen on this, um, and I'm not so keen on this. I don't like that. So instead of sort of isolating bits that I don't like, um, I'm sort of going to focus on what I do like and I'm going to bring the ideas that I'm working on with my new paintings into this. Now the ideas that I'm working on with my new paintings, I'm trying to push um, the accidental mark a bit more. So um, I'm trying to be a bit looser and freer in my painting and I'm trying to just get chinks of um, I, I want there to be an openness and a, and a looseness in the paintings. I feel like this, as much as I like that, um, it's all kind of, it, it's not contrived, but it's controlled. I want less of the control in the, in, in the paintings that I'm doing at the moment. So I have to um, come in here with a different sort of mindset. I have to come in here quite loosely and I really have to attack this with some big moves. If I fiddle around the edges, um, well, fiddling around the edges is what made me lose interest in it in the first place. So I'm going to come in here with some big moves. Now, in order to do that, I have to be brave. And sometimes when you're coming into the studio, like today I'm coming in to be brave, I haven't, um, I didn't work, I haven't perhaps painted for the last three or four days. So I kind of have to ease into it. I have to build up my bravery. <laughs> it's a little bit like, you know, um, doing a high jump. If you want to get, if you want to hit your highest, make the highest jump, you don't start at the highest, you don't put the bar at the very top of your reach. This is a this is all a hypothetical, I'm not a high jumper, but I, my son learnt how to high jump, and I saw the way that they, they worked up. They started with what was achievable, and then they gradually moved the bar up, and little bit by little bit, they got to the point where they couldn't jump o over the bar, and that was the um, ceiling that they were working on. So, kind of the same. I have to start where I'm comfortable, and I have to... Um, do something that's brave, but that uh, isn't 
really scary or isn't um, really risky. So in this case, what I will do is I will use some, um, and this is what I often do actually, if I want to be brave or I want to start a painting session with that feeling of freedom and, and being brave, I will start with drawing on the canvas. And I, I just um, get some nice colours. I choose them quite intentionally. Like I won't choose colours that um, have a, a big contrast. Like I'll choose them quite closely so that the marks that I make are kind of, they'll be free, but the, the value contrast won't make them sort of stand out too much. Um, and I'm just going to work into this being quite brave with sort of soft colours. So I'm sort of putting my big girl pants on up to my knees. <laughs> uh, and, and we'll see how we go. Let's hope I don't fall over. Right, I'm going to go and choose my colours. Now what I do when I do this is I get really close. I get right, I get so my nose is almost touching the canvas. That way... I'm just looking at the mark and I'm not looking at the whole thing. I will look at the whole thing, but I don't want to be looking at the whole thing while I'm making these marks um, because it's then I'm thinking and I don't want to think. I just want to look at the mark. These are actually oil pastels and these won't dry. The big sticks will dry, but these won't. But it doesn't matter because I can paint over them with some gloss medium and that seals them. So I make little marks and I make big marks. And this is what I call drawing like a four-year-old. Just imagine, you know, that four-year-old that turns up to kindergarten sits down at the drawing table and just lets rip. So much fun. Okay, so now you can see I have come in here, drawn all over this, and now um, it's starting, it's more exciting than it was before, for me anyway. Um, and now what I'll do is um, I probably won't let this all, let the paint, st the oil sticks dry. I'll probably just go and paint over the top of it. Um, and then at some stage I will seal it. So the, now that I have been a little bit brave with the, um, oil sticks and the pastels, I can come in here and be brave with the paint and I feel excited about doing that now whereas before it just presented me with a major puzzle and I wasn't really, I was going to have to think hard but now I can just get into this and enjoy it and have fun with the paint. Um, I've, you know, I've covered over a lot of what I had before and even though I've worked, I've covered over some of the bits that I liked, um, I've sort of uh, created a new painting to start with and um, so now I'll work from here and see where this goes. So that's just a, a little hack as to how to try, how to get brave. It takes a little bit of bravery to start with but you could see how I started with the pink and that was a soft colour and gradually I got braver and braver and I ended up with the pastels which were much brighter colours and um, they have, uh, you know, they are going to offer something different than the soft colours would have. So um, anyway, I hope that helps. I hope um, you can ease into being brave in the same way. If you don't want to do that on a painting, just the, just the motion of do, making those sorts of marks on a sheet of paper or in a sketchbook or something before you start painting will get you into, into feeling excited about being brave and making those sort of loose free marks. And, um, and that will set you, you, up, you up for 
attacking a painting that needs some sort of big move and a bit of bravery and courage. Okay, I hope that helps.